Hey guys, in this video, I want to tell you, I just want to be frank with you. I want to level with you. Um, I want us to be on the same wavelength. Trading is difficult. Day trading is extremely difficult. Um, I've been through law school. I've been through um, academia. I've taught myself Russian. Um, I've done a lot of strenuous and difficult intellectual tasks. Nothing compares with day trading. Why? Because you will have to master yourself. That is the hardest thing. Guys, when you are day trading futures, you are not gambling on an option. You are not betting on a stock. It's nothing like that. It's a grind. It's a mental... Um, it takes a lot of work. It, it, it's a career. It it's returns over time. Anyone who tells you that this pursuit is easy, you need to go far away from that because that person is lying to you. Guys, this is not easy. It will take a lot of work. It will take self-mastery. You're going to learn things about yourself, about your flaws that you never wanted to face. You never wanted to face but you're going to you're going to face them. If you want if you want to do this professionally, you're going to face yourself. When you gamble on the New York Open or you gamble on an economic release, you know why you're doing that. Cuz you want to gamble. Okay? That's why. When you when you move a stop loss when you don't hit allow yourself to be stopped out, and you don't take that loss, it's cuz it's too painful, it hurts too much, right? You're going to blame someone else. You're going to blame your broker. You're going to blame your wife. You're going to blame somebody else. Ain't nobody's fault but your own. Nobody's pressing that button. Guys, this shit is hard. It's hard. It's very difficult. It can be done. You can make a living from day trading. But it's going to be the hardest thing probably you've ever tried to do. It's going to be work. It's going to be work. And you must treat the market with respect. Guys, you can't come into this thinking that this is going to be get rich tomorrow. It's not. You're going to get very poor tomorrow if you think that way. I am not here to sell you get rich quick. I'm here to discuss uh, market mechanics. I'm here to discuss day trading. But if at any point you think that because I put out a bunch of videos that I've mastered the market or I'm trying to tell you that it's easy or whatever, you're making your millions tomorrow, go away. Don't watch my videos. Unsubscribe. Go away. I'm telling you point blank, this is difficult. This is going to be a lifelong struggle. It's fun. It's entertaining. It's a pattern. It's a puzzle. It makes repeatable patterns, guys. It's going to test your spatial reasoning and your reticular activate reticular activation and pattern recognition systems and if you are built like me and you love puzzles and you you are a pattern recognition machine then this is probably something that works for you but guys you all have flaws that you don't even know about yet most of you if you're I know my audience you're all young men right you're gonna push it too hard you're gonna push it too hard your top step allows you to trade 15 and you're gonna trade those 15 contracts I know you. You're going to push it, and you're going to blow your account, and you're going to blow it again, and you're going to blow it again, and you're going to blow it again because you just won't do what you know that you have to do. You know that you have to slow down. You know that it doesn't matter if Top Step lets you trade 15 contracts, and it doesn't matter if Apex lets you trade 20 freaking copy-traded accounts. It doesn't matter how many people you see that are, that are quote-unquote successful doing that. You're going to the poorhouse if you do that, guys. You are going to the poorhouse. If you put on 20 contracts on $3,000 of freaking drawdown or $7,500 of drawdown, you're going to the poorhouse. It's, you can't trade 15 contracts on $3,000 of drawdown on the NASDAQ. Are you insane? No, you can't. It's not mathematically possible. It's not. There's too much variance in the market. And, and what? You're going to be perfect on all your entries? Are you nuts? You're going to read the draw on liquidity perfectly for 15 freaking contracts? Are you out of your mind? No. You trade one contract. You trade two contracts. Maybe three. 
God, okay, maximum four. Guys, you're getting up to seven, eight, nine contracts on 3K drawdown? Are you nuts? Now, if you've got a million dollars in your trading account and you've got the capital to put on 10 contracts, guys, put on 10 contracts. Most of you don't, though. You're trading like me. You're trading a funded account or you're trying to trade a combine. You know you got to be flat for economic releases. You know it. I know it. You know it. I know it. We both know it, and yet you don't do it. And yet you don't do it. You know that CPI is coming out in an hour, and you're not out of your position. You know you've got to take that loss. You have to take the loss. It hurts. You're going back to break even on the day. You had worked up a profit. Now it's gone. You made a mistake. Oh, I'll just move that stop loss. It'll come back. Maybe it will, or maybe it won't. You're gambling. Gambling. You're hurting yourself. Guys, this is not get rich quick. This is not trading options. You're not buying a Tesla call. These are not Tesla calls, guys. This is day trading futures. And it's a grind, and it's a career, and it's work. You think you can drink a bunch of alcohol and, and go trade against trading algorithms? Really? You think you can get flat drunk and open up your trading combine or your, your live account? You're really going to drink and trade? Really? That, that's your risk management is I'm going to drink a bunch of alcohol and trade? I'm going to smoke a bunch of cigarettes or pot and I'm going to come trade? Really? You think that's wise? You think drinking a bunch of monsters and a bunch of energy drinks just prior to coming to trade, you really think that that's a wise decision? Or do you think that that's going to mess with you? You really think you can trade on a four inch screen? Really? You think you can trade on a four inch screen? Are you nuts? You think you can trade a $3,000 drawdown on the freaking NASDAQ minis on 15 contracts? I don't care if Top Step says you can trade 15 contracts. No. That's nuts. It's insane. It's nuts. It's crazy. No. You think $3,000 is a lot of money in the NASDAQ futures? It's nothing. That's That daily loss limit is jack nada. It's nothing. You're going to hit that $3,000 in two seconds. Believe me, $3,000 ain't nothing. It's nothing. Okay? So a lot of you young guys, I know you because I am you. You're going to push it too hard. I know my audience, and I know me. You're going to push it too hard. You're going to over leverage. You're going to push it too hard. You're going to, you're going to push for that New York Open. You're going to push for an economic release when you know you shouldn't. You know you shouldn't be putting on five contracts when the NASDAQ is in a 200-point range, but you're doing it anyways. Who are you trying to impress? Listen, I the reason I make these videos and I love these videos is because I like talking about the market. Okay? I love the market. I love day trading. It's what I love doing. But I know my personality flaws. I know that I'm a risk taker and I want to put on too many contracts. I do. I want to move that stop loss. I want to trade the New York Open. I want to do all the things that I know I should not do. And yet I know that if I ever want to become a professional, I can't do it. Okay? I can't speak to female traders. Um, I don't know. I, I, Michael has talked about them before, and, and generally speaking, they're, all, they're better traders than you are, young man, because you know you're putting on too much freaking risk. Risk taking is a good thing. But not in this domain. <laughs> not in this domain, it's not. Slow and steady returns over time. Okay? So, just, just to conclude, guys, you're watching YouTubers, you're watching me, you're watching anybody else, and you think, you come to the conclusion, oh, this guy's wealthy, this guy's, oh, he's leasing that car. He doesn't own it. He's leasing that. He's on vacation for two days, buddy. No. He's not nearly as wealthy as you think he is. Because if he were really wealthy, he's not telling you about it. Dumb dumb. My point being, guys, is that this is really hard. It can be done. It is doable. You should have a positive attitude. But you need to be realistic as well. And you need to learn yourself. You have to master yourself. You know if you're a gambling addict. You know, guys, you know. The longer that you deny it, the longer you are not going to be profitable. You know if you're a gambling addict. You know if you have gambling issues. You know when the market is gamble, gamble. Economic releases, New York Open, Federal Reserve comes out, Jerome Powell speaking. You know that market is gamble, gamble. You know that. 
you know that's when you should be avoiding the market, is when it's gamble, gamble. And yet you don't. Oh, but you see all these guys that are telling you they're making $20,000, $50,000 in two seconds on the New York Open, but every time that you try it, you get burned, right? How about it's because they're lying to you? They are lying to you. Lying. They're not telling you the truth, and if they are telling you the truth, it's only because they tried to play the New York Open 20 times, they lost 15 times, and they won five. Oh, guys, trading is difficult. It's a, it's a difficult profession. You are up against, guys, you are up against the hardest competition on the face of the planet. You think anybody wants you to be successful day trading? Really? You think they want you taking their money? You really think that they're going to make that easy for you? Sometimes it might be you might see things, and as over time you'll get some easy setups. But you've got to know the baseline, guys. These are shark-infested waters, okay? You've got to take care of body. You've got to take care of mind. You got to stop gambling. You got to stop pushing it so hard. You know the things that you have to do. You got that voice in your head and it's telling you, man, I've done this before and it's hurt me. Why am I doing this again? You have to listen to that voice, guys. Trading is difficult. Trading is very difficult. It can be done. But don't go in here thinking that it's easy. Don't let anybody convince you that it's easy. It can be done and you should be optimistic. But you must master yourself. Bye-bye.